516 is the time right now. Here's a quick live look over downtown Detroit on this very cold morning. Those wind chills are brutal. Will we see a rise in temperature soon? Well, hey, as we welcome March this weekend, so much to do despite the weather conditions out there. And 7 Action News anchor Mike Duffy has your guide and our seven things to do in the D. It's been a nice ride or maybe a glide, but it's your last weekend to hit the ice at the rink at Campus Marshes Park. And it's just one of your many options this weekend as we count down your seven things to do in the D. The rink opens at 10 a.m. on Saturday and noon on Sunday. Tickets are eight bucks for kids and 12 for adults. After 8 p.m. on Sunday, you'll have to wait until next winter. Get your engines ready. The annual Detroit Autorama returns to Huntington Place all weekend. The world famous car event features more than 800 amazing hot rods and custom vehicles. A celebrity lineup includes Noel G from the Fast and the Furious film series. Parents, if you're looking for a way to keep those kiddos entertained this Saturday or Sunday, Paw Patrol Live is taking over the Fox Theater. The action packed, music filled production is sure to keep the whole family entertained. Join Ryder and the Pups as they go on a pirate themed adventure. Tickets start at 20 bucks. You're invited to a special concert performed by the Warren Concert Band. More than a century of musical excellence is being celebrated with compositions like Rhapsody in Blue and Liberty Fanfare. The concert's at 3 p.m. Sunday at Warren Woods Middle School. As Black History Month comes to an end, a concert at Orchestra Hall is celebrating contributions made by African-American composers and artists. The Classical Roots concert is happening Friday and Saturday. Tickets start at $15. March is Women's History Month. A Detroit-based organization, Fast Blue, is hosting an event to honor women. The free community event will have a live podcast recording, a DJ, themed drinks, and a 360-degree photo booth. This is happening Friday at Bass Blue House. An RSVP is required. If you've never tried a proper royal tea, you can treat yourself this Saturday to some everyday luxury at the Royal Park Hotel. The tea service comes complete with sandwiches, scones, pastries, champagne, and of course, lots of tea. Call ahead for reservations. For more information on all these events and more, just head to WXYZ.com. I'm Mike Duffy, and that's your seven things to do in the D.